Watch Hump Day with him shine. Have some fun before we retire. Take a little break from the quagmire. It's Hump Day with him shine. I know, of course. I really wanted to um, do a game with you that I wanted to win, and but I guess <laughs> we have to do something else. But the thing is, like, I know you're not just, I know you're not just Natalie Maines. I know you're Natalie Maines from the Dixie Chicks, and uh, um, I am um, obsessed. But also, I want to sing a song for you. But I want to bring out another Dixie Chick to sing it. But on this show, I'm always doing the introductions, and I need to warm up my voice. So could you introduce yeah, your, the two-thirds of your Dixie? <laughs> sure. How much time? Do you need a long time two to warm up? Like oh. a, <laughs> two seconds. I need to, like, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> uh, female fiddler extraordinaire, best in the world, I'd say, from... Austin, Texas, Marty McGuire. Hello. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> my head's too big. I need a smaller head. Look <laughs> his head. Oh my God. I have two thirds of the Dixie Chicks here. Okay. So I am, I am obsessed with your new song, Gaslighter, from the album Gaslighter. And I want to talk about it and I want to talk about everything. But I need to just sing you this song because I feel like, I just feel like, it, uh, well, I just warmed up my voice and I don't want to reheat it. So, <laughs> okay. I'm going to just give you a little context. I don't, I'm, I don't want this to be like I'm singing at you. It's going to be real quick. The little context, though, for the song, the story of it is that, um, so Nutella season is like the weather's getting hotter and Nutella season is kind of over. And uh, so I've moved on to ice cream. And um, it's caused this kind of feud with me and Instacart because a feud I never had with Nutella because Nutella only has one flavor, right? Nutella. And so when I order mint chocolate chip from Instacart and they give me chocolate chip cookie dough, like that's not an adequate, right? Substitution. So anyways, I had to move on to Postmates. And what I run into is constantly all the ice cream shops offline, not available. So as Grammy award, Singer songwriters like me, I have a Grammy Award. Um, you know, <laughs> wait, where is that one? Um, this is a Grammy Award that I got from Brian Tedder. We wrote a song together. Yeah, yeah. I keep it in my bathroom. That's my toilet. Excellent, excellent. So it's a photo of your Grammy. Well, I mean, I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to be right. right. Yeah. I don't want to have it out here and people know what's in my place and come rob it. And it's so well, braggy. Yeah, I yeah, think so. Yeah. And um, anyways, this is just, this is just, you know that you have to kind of, uh, when you have motions of the heart, like I had with ice cream, you have to do, you have to get it out through small. So um, two seconds, two, and then just tell me if I have it. You guys might like this too. Okay. <clears throat> Who doesn't know what I'm talking about? Who wants to stay home? Who hates to go out? To get a scoop of ice cream at Cold Stone. Don't want to put some sprouts for a damn waffle cone. Cookies and cream or maybe gelato. Soft serve swirls, a tough fact to follow. Dairy Queen birthday cake tastes the best. What they put in that batter leaves me impressed. I need more ice cream places. Room to choose on my Postmates. I need new flavors. I know I've gained weight. <laughs> so I just, I just thought you guys might, I just needed to get that out. You're I'm going to say, nailed it. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. Thank you. Nailed you. It. And this is going to sound like an ad, and it's not. But let, do you have a, I have a solution for your problem. Have you figured out a solution yet? No. So Craig's. Craig's. You know, Craig's in Los Angeles. They have a yeah. restaurant and an ice cream shop. Yeah. They deliver a whole month supply and and it's all vegan which i'm not a vegan and i was a little scared when i got the delivery because yes. I mean, who wants vegan if you're not vegan 
It's delicious, and they have the best mint chip. You're gonna be. Oh so my happy. god! I okay. knew there was a reason I wanted you guys on the show. See, also because I'm <laughs> obsessed with you guys, and and thank you for being on here with with good Wi-Fi. Not to say anything bad about Catherine, but um, but it's okay. So I uh, I have been gaslit, and. It's really like, I know the definition of being gaslit is like, you're made to feel crazy. Um, but like, it really makes you feel like you're crazy. It's like, do you live in LA? I do, Marty lives in Austin. Okay, but do you, so you know San Vicente? Yeah. Okay, well, I feel like when I am gaslit, I feel like I'm on San Vicente because that is a street, Marty, that when you're on, everything you thought you knew to be true is not true anymore. Fairfax, you think, goes like this. On San Vicente, it goes like that. And that's- Wait, we can't see your bottom hand. It goes like what? Yeah. Well, what do you, th what sunset do? S a sunset's fine. <laughs> sunset, just you stay on that road and you're not, then you can be confident that you're like, all's right in the world and you can be confident that you're not crazy. Um, now, but, are you talking San Vicente in town or West Side? Oh, I'm talking like Santa Monica. Oh no, I'm talking near the Beverly Center. Okay, because okay. San Vicente on, over here on the West Side is completely. It's the widest street in Los Angeles. Straight ahead, oh. no surprises. So see, you you have me confused. All right, I feel you. No, well, that makes really sense. Also, Marty, your background is amazing. Thanks. It, it's just a set. <laughs> you know, I thought Catherine was going to come on with, we've done these kind of Zooms for Schitt's Creek when she was not at the cottage, so they worked. Um, but she would put these backgrounds of like waves and being in the ocean and that actually I would, uh, I, is that like a greenhouse though? <laughs> That's just the other side of her house. <laughs> That's my crappy yard that needs new grass. But it looks actually good on camera. It looks really good. It looks really good. Um, uh, where's Catherine's cottage? In Muskoka. Mm. And she really does cottage. Like, here's the thing. She really doesn't have Wi-Fi at the cottage. Like, really doesn't. Yeah, she's off the grid. Yeah. And she really has used an iPhone for us until last night. And we got the call that it died. And so <laughs> that was the only way we were going to connect to her. Um, okay, I want to ask you a few questions. Um, okay, what album are you guys most proud of? Do we have the same answer, Marty? Home. Uh, for me, it's taken the long way. Oh, okay. Taking the long way. So I've been in two car accidents in my life. One was reaching for Doritos and the other was bawling my eyes out um, to taking the long way, um, knowing I had to get divorced and all that. And I got in an accident because of that. Oh, wow. Yeah. You have been the inspiration. Your music has been the inspiration for all my breakups. And... <laughs> 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 well, you're well, welcome. You know, like empowering. <laughs> empowering in that way, like Landslide. Everyone at home should listen to the lyrics of Landslide and you will realize you've outgrown the person and it's tragic. <laughs> but you know we didn't write that, right? No. <laughs> I know that Stevie Nick, do you know that Stevie from Schitt's Creek is named after Stevie Nicks? I mean, I, oh. I didn't know that, but I was assuming that. Yeah, the back <laughs> that her, um, her uh, dad was a roadie for Stevie Nicks and named uh, her. I missed that. Um, um, okay, I'm going to ask you one more. Um, if you could write someone else's song, whose song would it have been? Like, oh, I've had an answer to that. If you wish you'd written someone else's. Maybe Imagine. John <laughs> if you've ever heard of that one. Yeah, it doesn't work so well in streaming. <laughs> what? It doesn't work so well in streaming. Like, imagine <laughs> it's not really for this kind of medium, but it's an amazing. <laughs> Are we, you about to click, go into the, whatever song we name? No. <laughs> no. You should, after this Google, imagine um, 
quarantine. They did a whole imagine thing. In oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yes. You, what would yours be? I feel like I used to have like a clear answer to this. And now I'm going to go with Uptown Funk. <laughs> <laughs> well, I never would have thought that. That's like so unclear. Oh sure. Oh, okay, you know no pop music, Natalie. What? what? I you know what Uptown Funk is. I know she, what I'm Emily, she didn't know what Despacito was. <laughs> when it was a hit, she didn't know. She had Despacito. no idea. Despacito. I don't as much didn't as I know. know. I don't I'm know. Funk is a way better is. song. Why would I care to know? That's terrible. I don't know what Despacito is. I know Uptown. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> what? It was a huge, huge pop. I just have little kids that listen to pop music, but it was a huge hit. Huh. We have yeah. producer play Despacito right now. Just for you. <laughs> you think we can play music? On the, the technical capabilities to play music, <laughs> they can't even get a good line. <laughs> I do on my phone now. Um, okay. Well, since we can't play music, I want to play a game with you guys. Um, I had a different game to play. Obviously, I really wanted Catherine to test it, and I'm so sorry because I know. But mainly, I'm sorry. I wanted your Grammy to to be at stake so I could win it and have it. <laughs> okay, so have you ever played Cranium? Yeah. Okay, you know how in Cranium they have this, one of the categories is a hum ding dinger? Yeah, so yeah. I want to I do a hump dinger, which is basically exactly the same as a hum dinger, except, so we have to hum a song. You have to guess what it is, and um, it can only be Dixie Chick songs, though. <laughs> but we're going to guess our own songs? We're all going to have to do a hum dinger. Like, uh, I'll do one, you'll, and, and the other two will guess. So wait, it's hum it, and you're gonna yes. guess. Oh my god, yes. Emily's gonna be the easiest game on the planet for us. <laughs> well, I'm going deep tracks, deep tracks. <laughs> you are? All right. <laughs> okay, now I'm humming first. No, that's not fair. I'm humming first? Yeah. Okay. So, okay, I might try to go complicated. Um, oh. You don't want that. You want a no, hit. No, no, no. I guess I'm hoping you don't choose the one I want to do. Oh. <laughs> okay, let me think of what I'm again. I got to practice. God, I wish I had a list of our songs. Um, oh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I got it. out you've just been humming so long no, no, no. i'm gonna hum the title of the song ready okay oh i know this i can't believe you can act. you must be horrible to play cranium with because <laughs> oh my God. you guys would be horrible to play cranium with well you know I'm, what? I'm, I'm humming this spot on it's okay. a throwback well but clearly you're not humming it well enough because marty didn't get it I know, I Marty, know, ready, I ready, know. Ready. Here's, the, here's the signature part of the song. <laughs> oh, 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 Cold Day in July. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> I got my own song. Oh, my God. <laughs> but first of all, unfair. You've got too much time to hum. <laughs> you can't get the length of not give that much time. 
Okay, <laughs> Mary, would you like to go? I think you should go. Okay. Okay. Because <laughs> you're warmed up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Oh <laughs> yes. I'm not sure I could. Yeah, you went really deep track there. <laughs> I can't. Okay, so I did this for everyone in the writer's room, and nobody got <laughs> any of my humdingers. So I thought oh, it'd be a really good thing. <laughs> okay, M Marty, Marty, you're going to take us out with this humdinger, but you're not going to go. I have to give you your quarantine nicknames. Oh, okay. Oh, it's the name of the song. What's the name? Uh, I think it's called Cowboy Take Me Away. Cowboy Take Me Away. Oh my God. I just got the like personal, like, uh, the Cowboy Take Me Away song. From <laughs> you was, that one your, was that one of your, your makeup songs? Was that one of your, <laughs> your breakup oh, songs? Oh, no. That was like, <laughs> that was like, that's when you're, uh, you know, you you just know that this is going to change your life, and this is gonna like oh my god I can't I can't I'm gonna start to cry. Uh, <laughs> but we I wanna so your your album Gaslighter comes out June seventeenth. Yes. No, July seventeenth. Sorry, July seventeenth. <laughs> or else we missed it. Yeah, <laughs> I would not miss it. But can I can I get an advanced copy? Can I get a signed copy? <laughs> sure. I'll give you a signed copy of my. I'll give you a signed copy of my uh, ice cream, more ice cream places. All right, I want to. I want a signed copy of that Grammy photo of yours. Okay, <laughs> you, you want Ryan Cutter's signature as well. He was cover. <laughs> so, I really, I really want. I'm kind of. I really appreciate you guys coming on because I had all big plans, and you know when you make plans, Catherine's. It's not God that laughs at you. It's Catherine. <laughs> so can I, I want to, um, before you guys go, I want to give you your quarantine nicknames, which okay. is, it's the emotional state you're feeling right now, plus the last thing you ate. Okay. Like, like mine would be like, uh, uh, ang anxious, um, anxious bacon. <laughs> Uh, Mine is humorous, heaviest corn chips. Ooh. <laughs> and I had the double H in there. Did you catch that? Yeah. No, that's mm -hmm. right. Yeah, that's yeah. We've so done that on this show before. Mm -hmm. that yeah, only songwriters can do that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Marty? Um, happy Ramen. Ooh. Oh, that's, that's good. a good restaurant name. That's good. <laughs> I'm going to wash my hands of you guys. I wish I could, I want to like ask you a lot of questions. I might have to DM you. Can I also know where you got your overalls, Marty? Yeah, I got them at this uh, local store called Tyler's. They're, um, they're, they're Dickies. Oh, they're like the train. You can get them on Dickies.com. I'm going to get them on Dickies. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. I am washing my hands of you, drawing them. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Thank Bye. You. Thank you. Big fan.